It's spring in the north of England, and natterjack toads have gathered in pools of fresh water for a night of courtship. The males are locked in a singing contest. The prize? The favour of a female. She will spawn here, leaving her tadpoles to fend for themselves. These toads live in a surprising location. The beach. The beautiful Sefton coast is England's longest stretch of unbroken sand dunes. Now, this might just look like a whole lot of sand, but get closer and we can see some astonishing animals and plants living here between the land and the sea. The sand lizard is now one of England's rarest reptiles because their dune homes have been disturbed and developed. This male is sporting his bright green courtship colours and is emerging from his sandy burrow to find a mate. Sand heats up fast and holds its warmth long after the sun has gone. Ideal for reptiles and insects who need to get warm before they can become active. And this is the home of one of those insects, the northern dune tiger beetle. Tiger beetles are the fastest insects on Earth and are ferocious predators. Their immense jaws are like long curved swords with daggers sticking out along each blade. So it's no surprise that mating can be a risky business. These beetles are now only found in two places in England. Many different bees also live in the warm sand. The females expertly digging burrows in which to lay their eggs. It's now early summer and the next generation of natterjacks are growing fast. But the natterjack tadpoles are not the only youngsters here. They must run the gauntlet from a predatory dragonfly nymph. The tadpoles have good protection if they stay in the swarm. Safety in numbers. Back from the brink partners are working hard to keep the pools open for the natterjacks. This is one of the last places in England where they survive. The adult toads take refuge in the grass on the dunes. This toad is making its way from the dunes over towards the sea and it's doing this for dinner. The main attraction is the sand flies that are feeding around the high tide line. These dunes take some looking after Back from the Brink Partners are working with all of the landowners around here to protect this amazing natural wealth. Be part of the solution. Volunteer at your local nature reserve in town or in the country and find out which awesome animals and plants live there. Protect our natural wealth. We can't live without it. Back from the Brink is one of the most ambitious conservation projects ever undertaken. Its aim is to save 20 species in England, all of whom are in danger of going extinct. It's the first time ever that so many conservation organisations have come together with one single focus. And it's this power of working together that's really making things happen. Much of this success is down to local people. So far, over 2,000 of them have volunteered to help back from the brink. This amounts to over 4,000 days. That's 10 years of working days given for free to protect our wildlife and wild spaces. Incredible.